Hi, I'm Ricardo Mead, founder and director at the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation. And we're here today with the Nurture Nature campaign to educate you about the harmful wildlife trade and its effects on macaws, and more importantly, what you can do about it. So, what's so wrong about buying a macaw? Firstly, almost every single pet macaw in Trinidad and Tobago was illegally captured from the wild and trafficked into the pet trade. Almost none of them are captive bred. This applies to our local blue and gold and red-bellied macaws, as well as introduced species like the green-winged macaw. To capture wild macaws, poachers steal babies from the nest. Sometimes that means cutting down an entire tree, which risks killing the macaws and causes devastating habitat loss. In fact, this combination of habitat loss and capture for the pet trade is exactly what drove the blue and gold macaw to local extinction in the 1960s. The second problem with buying traffic macaws is animal abuse. Countless birds die in the trafficking process which brings most pet macaws to Trinidad and Tobago from South America. Traffickers view the macaws as cargo alongside drugs, guns, and other contraband. As many birds as possible are crammed into a boat, and then they often succumb to dehydration, starvation, and illness. Those that survive to be sold often end up with people who don't know how to look after them. Macaws are large, smart birds that require constant attention and are expensive to care for. They are supposed to live for over 50 years, but if they don't have proper vet care, enough mental stimulation and the right diet and a large space, they can develop severe health problems leading to an early death. That takes us to the third problem with buying trafficked macaws. Many of these birds arrive sick. They are subjected to highly unsanitary conditions without any quarantine procedures. This means that pet macaws often come with diseases that can shorten their lives. These diseases can spread to other pet birds and could have devastating impacts on wild populations. So how can you combat the harmful trade in traffic macaws? First, don't buy wild. Remember that for every bird that you see, countless more have perished. Report illegal captures and sales to the authorities. In Trinidad and Tobago, this means contacting the Forestry Division in Trinidad or the Department of Natural Resources and Forestry in Tobago. You can also make an anonymous report via Crime Supper's TT. If you want a pet bird, get one that is captive bred, like a canary or a lovebird. If you insist on having a macaw, adopt one from someone who cannot care for it. Second, if you do have a macaw, look after it properly. Make sure that your bird has regular checkups with a veterinarian who can provide guidance about its dietary needs, correct enclosure size, safe toys, and more. Also, make sure that you can meet the forestry division's permitting requirements. Third, if you find that you cannot look after your macaw, don't release it into the wild. Remember that non-native macaw species can cause problems by competing with our local macaws and spread diseases to them. Also, consider that captive birds can die easily after being released since they lack the strength and skills to survive in the wild. The correct thing to do is relinquish it to a wildlife rehabilitation center. We are incredibly fortunate to have macaws in Trinidad and Tobago, and we should do all in our power to protect them. Remember, don't buy wild.